Hello friends, this is the lesson number 37 in this series of British literature and we are discussing the age of revival, we are continuing with the century, uh, 16th century and among these minor writers because these the writers or the poets we are discussing are not the great ones or not having the bulk of the literature or uh, just a few things and just a few keynotes that we are making and uh, just trying to go through because these are not you you will not see these writers commonly in university syllabus so today in this lesson we shall be discussing Roger Ascham Roger Ascham his lifespan goes from 1515 to 1568 so he was born in 1515 and died 1568 and about him that he okay he was a, an English scholar and I a didactic writer didactic what is didactic writer means the writer means the term didactic means to teach others so he was teaching his philosophy the moral things to the people with his works and he was quite famous for promoting vernacular and theories in education vernacular means the language of the common people and he was tutor to the princess elizabeth princess elizabeth remember she is the daughter of anne boleyn so he was teaching her greek and latin languages greek and latin languages and later he served in administration so he was giving his services to Edward VI, then Mary I and Elizabeth I. So he was working as a secretary to these uh, royal kings and queens. He wrote letters officially to foreign rulers for Elizabeth because uh, Elizabeth was ruling uh, from 1558 to 1603 during her reign he was writing letters to establish peace in the state because when she get to the throne it was all hodgepodge or we can say all disturbed means because of the uh, there was a clash between the protestant and the puritans and the catholics so all these were having bloodsheds and wars so she was establishing peace and also making friendly relationship to the neighboring states and countries and uh, he was earlier what in fact he earlier gave his services as a teacher to uh, all these three queens i mentioned that elizabeth first was of course there to uh, lady jane grey and then the mary first so all these three queens were his students. The important work is associated to Roger Ascham is the Toxophilus. Toxophilus or Toxophilus, however you may call it. It was written in 1545. And uh, the meaning of this word is uh, taken as the lovers of bow. Bow. Bow means bow and arrow means uh, so it's uh, like a weapon and uh, this is the first book on archery archery is the art or uh, you can say the skill that one have with the uh, shooting with bow and arrow so this is the first book on archery ascham narrates under the name r bond in this book the uh, the writer name is uh, the goes as r bond it was dedicated to the king henry the eighth so in the earlier period be before king died it was published you remember king henry the eighth died in 1547 and it was published in 45 so he dedicated this book to him and there are some of the facts related to his writing or this work that he condemned he condemned the practice of shooting with long bow arrow uh, so there are 
two types of techniques uh, there is a crossbow and longbow so he condemned he criticized longbow and he also uh, talks about the style of poetry and in the preface there is a point that writing english matter in english tongue for english men this is the line writing english matter in english tongue for english men so these are the words written in preface and one more point that this book contains the dialogue between the two characters the name of these two characters are toxophilus the title character and the other name is philogus philogus so these two characters are talking another work which was published posthumously means after his death the name of that work is school master school master it was published in 1570 this work is written in simple plain english and it tells us about the effective methods of teaching of prose in latin language teaching of prose in latin language in the introduction i told you that he worked or he wrote about teachings and education so this is the work about education and he discusses so many things about psychology of learning education of a person how it is important importance of education in one's life and uh, how it should be spread among the common people and it was this work was reprinted uh, in so many times several times so like in 1571 1589 and later it was edited by james upton so this is a point james upton is a writer and he edited this work in the year 1711 and 1743 and there were furthermore uh, several we can say edited editions or uh, made by other writers so we just need need not go with those things so just remember james upton edited Uh, this book twice in the year 1711 and 1743 and uh, one more that uh, ascham's letters he wrote some letters and these letters are uh, pub were published in the form of a collection and uh, it was done in the year 1576 so we remember roger ascham because of uh, two or three things uh, what first about talks of phyllis about the art of bow and arrow means a shooting archery and the second is about his work a school master that is about education the techniques of teaching and spreading education among the common people and try to remember him also as the tutor to the uh, royal queens uh, mary first lady jane grey and elizabeth first So that's it about uh, Roger Ascham and uh, thanks for watching this lesson try to uh, give your precious feedback if you have any or your queries or your doubts so i am just recording these lessons with my own purpose that uh, in fact my own benefit just to revise the things because i managed to crack ugc net on the basis of these notes and i am just trying to practice these notes again and again so so that it may help you as well uh, of course uh, these things are helping me because i am recording a lesson so these things are helping me as well so now thanks for watching this lesson have a nice day and hope you will keep learning literature